Hello, and welcome to today's show, folks. The running topic today, IVF, otherwise known as in vitro fertilization, is a process in which babies are made manually in a laboratory dish using donated sperm in a removed egg. The product is then inserted back into the woman's uterus so the pregnancy can happen in a non-natural process. The agenda for today includes a person who experienced IVF, a scientist that does the combining, and a Catholic, and a Catholic priest stating their stance on this very controversial issue. Let us welcome the first guest, our very own, Mr. George John. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me on the show. I really appreciate my opportunity to share my experience with the listeners. IVF may sound like a very easy process when looked at, but please note that there is much more risk and care needed to be taken with the process. Ethics and morals also need to be kept in mind when both parents commit to the process. There is acts such as murdering of undeveloped fetuses and possible miscarriages that could happen during this time of IVF's performance as well. Thanks for allowing me to inform all of you about this sensitive topic. Hope you all make the right decision for yourself and take care. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for that, George. I'm sure all of us will think twice before making the right decision for ourselves and for our possible new member of the family. Next, I'd like to invite a scientist to explain the process of IVF. Welcome, Dr. Luke. Thank you so much for inviting me onto the show. I've been preparing hard to inform people of what exactly happens in the lab. IVF is a method in which sperm samples and an egg are manually combined in a lab. The embryo is frozen and then inserted into the uterus when required. There are many reasons for parents to choose this method to acquire a child into their family. IVF can be used to treat patients that have damaged falcon tubes, male factor infertility, evolution disorders, premature of rain failure, urine thyroids, women who may not have falcon tubes, genetic reproduction disorder, and more. The process can although be very useful, there is a hint of what exactly one values when it comes to light, as miscarriages and possible destroying of fetus can become a factor in this process. Thank you so much, sir. Oh my, I never knew any of this. I'd really like to tell more people who are thinking about signing up for IVF and tell them what happens and let them decide what is right and what is wrong. Our final guest for the day is Father Jacob to tell us his perspective. Welcome, Father. Thank you so much, Father. I understand how you feel about this topic and what influenced you to make and create such opinions about this topic. To be honest, I believe that at the end of the day, all things considered, it is completely up to intended parents to make the right decision for themselves, whether it be right or wrong morally in other minds. Thank you so much for listening for tuning in. This is Lucas, signing out.